Welcome to a new week. Um, I wanted to put together a little video just to kind of introduce um, all of the different activities that we have planned for this week. The reason that we are focusing on physical this week and last week our math challenge um, of counting is um, you may or may not know we have to do observations for the children in every three months in all the different areas and since we can't see your children right now we need your guys's help to know where they are during these last few months especially this month i'm so sad that we don't get to see the kids because the amount of growth that they're making and progress that they're making is incredible and so we want to know exactly where they are um, so that we can help you know what to work on during the summer um, before either kindergarten or another year of preschool so we need your help in seeing what they can do and letting us know that information. These are all of the objectives that we observe and base our lesson plans on. There are different areas and in between each area there are different skills. So when and we so break it down to physical, we have traveling skills, walk, running, gallop, and skipping. Walking and running, I pretty much know that your kids can do that, um, but um, jumping and hopping and um, the more advanced skill is being able to jump and hop on one foot and um, so that's something that we would love for you to help us observe gallop and skipping and um, I'll demonstrate that for you in a minute and throwing catching kicking using fingers and hands that's like threading beads or um, using scissors is an easy way to see how well their fine motor is and then just holding their pencil correctly with their fingers just in case you don't know what the difference between galloping and skipping is, galloping is the skill that we get before we move on to skipping. So galloping is leading with one foot and jumping, whereas skipping is switching feet like this. So um, you could encourage your children to do this just during play. I have linked some great songs that incorporate galloping and skipping. Um, the children are pretty familiar with these songs, so you can encourage them to do them with you at home and just see if they can do it. Some children can't, and that's okay. It's a hard skill to learn. It requires a lot of coordination, um, so we want to see if your child can do that. I also wanted to provide a really quick demonstration of the number game. Um, so this can be done with either really simple number cards. I don't have a printer at my home, so I just made these with crayon. Um, I included dots. Um, if your child is still working on numerals, um, it's important that you put the dots of how many is in that number. That way, if they don't know the number, instead of just telling them, you can encourage them to count and discover what the number is on their own. Um, for, right, for my child, um, she's still learning numbers, so we are only doing one through 10. Um, if your child is working on the higher numerals, which I know a lot of you guys are, go one through 20 um, to be able to identify which one is higher. So let me show you how it works. Each player will have one their own set of cards. Um, and then at one time, each of you, each player will flip over um, one card each. And then your child will get to discover which one is bigger. So 10 is bigger than nine. So this player would get to collect both of these cards and place them on the bottom of their pile. Then you would go again to flip over again. And this one again wins because it's the bigger number. So they would get cards. And you want to play until one person has all the cards. So that you would do one more round. And again, this player just wins them all. Another fun way to make it more challenging for our children that um, have can do bigger numbers and they know all of their numerals um, is to have each player flip over two cards at a time. So then they can practice adding the numbers together. So this person would add one and six to make seven, and this person would add five and two to make seven. Obviously, these ones are the same number, so no one would really win. You would kind of try again, um, but you get the point. You're adding instead of just um, doing one number per thing. Um, one thing to point out, if you are gonna be trying to do the adding way of doing this, I would stick with numbers between one and 10. Even though your child is working on the bigger numerals, it's easier to add our smaller numbers 
um, than adding like a three to a 14. So I would start adding by the smaller numbers. But if your child is simply working on numerals, stick to the one card at a time. One of the other activities that I wanted to explain really quick is scissor cutting, um, which is a great fine motor skill. Um, I kind of just left it open for any kind of scissor craft because what better way to incorporate scissors is making it an art project. Um, I did want to point out there's a lot of kids scissors and we got these at the kindergarten readiness fair. Um, these ones aren't the greatest because they can only fit about one finger in each of these. The ones with more room on the one side help them be able to really grip them. Um, when your child is cutting, um, some children are figuring out how to hold their hand. Help them remember to put their thumb up. So when they're cutting different angles, making sure their thumb is up will help them. And I always sometimes walk them through. So open, squeeze, open, squeeze. Helping them learn that this is the pattern to be able to cut the paper. I hope that this was helpful information for you guys. Um, please give us feedback if you like this type of stuff, if you would rather have different things. We want to know what you need at home to be the most successful so that we can help you. Um, I know being a mom that's trying to work and have kids and do activities at home, it's a lot. And so we want to make sure that you can be as successful as you can um, with the things that we can provide. So please let us know. We hope that this provides a lot of fun this week with your children. Um, and to see those awesome physical skills that you guys can do. So um, again, please share either through email, text, or on Facebook what your child can do. You can just simply text, type it out or um, send us videos because we would love to see your kids. Thanks. Have a good week.